Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Akib and in this video, I am going to show how you can connect two different type of social media platforms like Tumblr and Pinterest together such that you can update your audience about the same content that you are posting on Tumblr and on Pinterest simultaneously and automatically. So here we have connected Pinterest with Tumblr such that as and when you create any post in Tumblr, the content of the same post will be shared with your Pinterest audience automatically. Yes, guys, let me show you how. So this will be the flow of this automation here on Tumblr account. Whenever you create a new blog post, a pin will be created automatically with the same content that you have posted on Tumblr. Okay. So uh, here you need not to manually sort out the details and the blog's content and manually post pin every time in Pinterest for your Pinterest audience. This is going to happen automatically and it will uh, save a huge amount of your time and manual efforts. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part is you can create this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So let's set up this automation together. So first of all, you have to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard here. So please do check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So after signing up, you can log in and reach here. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation and to do that, just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can provide any suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Tumblr to Pinterest automation. Okay. Now click on create here and you will see that your workflow is uh, here. And guys, uh, here you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger the workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new post created in Tumblr and the action would be to create a pin with the same content of the uh, post that you are creating on Tumblr here on Pinterest automatically. Okay. So first of all, you have to choose a trigger application, which is Tumblr in our case, search for Tumblr here, select it. And in the trigger event, you have to select new post and dashboard option. Okay. New post and dashboard, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Tumblr. Okay. So that will bring you to the login window of Tumblr. If you are not logged in as I have already logged in here in my Tumblr account. So it will just uh, ask for the access to connect. So you have to provide the access, just click on allow. And you can see we are connected here like this and uh, click on save and send test request now. And it will fetch the data of the most recently created post from your Tumblr account. So let me show you, I'm clicking on save and send test request. And this is the blog. It has uh, selected Pabli software blog. This is the name Pabli software blog. You can see and here in the content, you can see uh, this is the blog's title Pabli and this is the blog's URL. Let us open the blog URL. Okay. So you will reach the blog from this blog URL. Okay. And here you can see we have the post URL as well. Let me show you the post URL. And uh, on the post URL, you will reach here. And uh, let me show you all other things. This is the short URL. This is the summary Pabli Connect integration. So this is the summary of the post actually that was created here. So guys, this is the most recently created post <clears throat> I have on my Tumblr blog. The title is Pabli Connect integrations. And here it is showing all the applications uh, we are uh, providing for the integrations. Okay. And the same content is fetched here, right? And here you can see we have this uh, label here showing the content of the image that we have posted in the blog. So you will find the image here in this trail zero content label. But you can see here we got the 
image link but we have these HTML tags also added here okay so uh, to post this image link on Pinterest we need to remove these HTML tags okay so to remove this HTML tags or to remove the link out of this uh, label I'm going to use a feature by Pavli which is called uh, text formatter so from this action step search for text formatter okay and in the action event select text parser option so it will parse a text by giving text match okay so select this then click on connect and now it is asking which text uh, you want to use or you want to fetch you and you want to map here so that you can parse out something out of it so this is the text I want to uh, uh, use here so that I can parse out the link of the image that we have here okay so let me show you this I'm uh, uh, selecting the link this is the link that I want let me show you this this is the image link that I want okay now I'm going to use this label here in this step click on it and from this tumblr step I'm going to map this label which is trail zero content label so you will find it here map it like this okay now it is asking text match after and text match before so here you have to put the before text and after text from the, uh, uh, from which you want to parse out this content okay for example uh, let me show you uh, here so guys this is the starting of the link HTTP is the starting of the link and before it we have this uh, tag HTML tag angle bracket IMG SRC equals to so I'm just going to copy this angle bracket IMG SRC equal to up to this apostrophe comma this will act as the uh, after text text match after put it here okay and in text match before I am going to put this uh, uh, after the link is ending so the link is ending here at dot png and after that we have this apostrophe alt equals to apostrophe image class equals to apostrophe comma so I am going to copy this from this apostrophe up to this apostrophe okay copy this and put it here so it, this is a bit tricky part but you can do this uh, after following this video paste it here right and click on save and send test request and now you can see in this result label we got we got the image link that we needed okay so this is the image link that we wanted let me show you this if we got the same image if okay you can see we got the same image right now we can use this result label in Pinterest step so click here on this plus icon and from this another action step now search for Pinterest to create a pin there and in the action event select create pin option click on connect from this window select add new connection then click on connect with Pinterest so uh, that will bring you to the login window as you have as I have told you but I have already logged in in Pinterest also you can see here this is my Pinterest and this is my board where I am creating the pins the name of the board is Pabli okay so let me click on connect with Pinterest and here you have to allow the access to make the connection so click on give access and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected now it is asking to select the board that you have in Pinterest so my board's name is this Pabli board okay so guys from this board field you need to select the board in which you want to create a pin in Pinterest so here is my Pinterest board the name of the board is Pabli you can see and here from here you can select the board so I have two boards here I'm selecting this one Pabli and now it is asking for the image URL and the title and description and all these things so I am going to use the data that we have fetched from tumblr from here and I am going to use this text parser step to map the image URL that we got here in this result label okay so to map this data here just click here 
and you will find these previous steps in the drop down and from the second step map the image from the text parser like this for the title use the first step for and in the first step you will get the title here let me show you this is it the summary can be used as a title right if you want to put some small description you can put the description here uh, but it is not compulsory you can create a pin without description as well but if you want to enter it you can enter here and alternated text if you want uh, that this text will be read aloud by screen readers that you can enter it here and here you can paste the link of your tumblr's blog so i am going to map the tumblr's blog link from this tumblr step and this is the blog url i'm going to use it here as this okay now you can check your connection with pinterest uh, by clicking on save and send test request and you will get a new pin created here on this board let me show you i'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens and you can see this is the response we have received let's check in pinterest if we got a new pin i'm refreshing my feed here in my board and here you can see we got a new pin created and this is the pin and you can see this is the same title here pavli connect integrations and this is the same image that we have uh, mapped here so you can see this is the same title and uh, also we have this blog link as well by clicking on this link people can reach your tumblr blog like this okay right so this is how it is going to work and guys we are done setting up this automation so uh, you need to set up this automation only once after that you need not to do anything manually after that as and when you create a new post in tumblr a new pin will be created uh, in pinterest automatically okay so let me show you a quick recap what i have done here so first of all i connected tumblr in the trigger and fetched the response of a most recently created pin after that i used text parser to parse out the uh, image url from this trail zero content label okay so from this trail zero content label we got the image url here like this and then i connected pinterest in the action step selected the board and mapped the data like this to create a pin in pinterest and guys the good part is you can use this same workflow that i've just created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel